Hey guys, welcome back to Birch Barrel Kitchen. I'm Chef Marco Nicoli. Today we're gonna to be doing barbecue ribs, one of my favorite recipes. So, to kick it off, we're gonna have a few ingredients handy. We're gonna need some brown sugar, we're gonna need that AM salt to make a beautiful rub, and then a rack of ribs. So these are my uh, baby back ribs. I like these because I feel like they give you a more even cook. They're my favorite rib by far. So what we're gonna do to start off is just kind of trim them up. So we want them to cook evenly, and one way to kind of force that is by making sure that you have an even rack of ribs. So sometimes when you go to the butcher, you're gonna have these extra pieces. I just like removing them. You can save them for like a pork stock later on. Um, you could throw them on the grill just as like a little sampler as you're eating. I always like having a drink and something to eat while I'm cooking. So um, essentially I'm just looking for something like this where it's very even, you don't have extra cuts where one side's gonna burn or overcook. You want it all cooking at the same time. So that one's trimmed pretty good there. And then right here, we're gonna just trim off this end piece. Now you have another beautiful rack of ribs, very similar in size. So some butchers will remove uh, the membrane for you, but if he doesn't, what you're gonna wanna do is just kind of pick a little end, pull up the membrane, and then it'll just pull off. Now what we're gonna make is the rub. So this is literally two ingredients. So we have a brown sugar, um, and we're gonna do about a half a cup of brown sugar. Again, I grew up in an Italian house where nothing was really measured, so. <laughs> And then we're gonna do a quarter cup of AM salt. So this is uh, my wife and I's salt. It's a blend of herbs and spices. If you don't have access to this, you can also just use a combination of your favorite herbs and spices or like a traditional seasoning salt. And then you're just gonna kind of mix this together. It's a lot more sugar than it is salt. And the reason being is because you wanna caramelize that rib. We're gonna cook it really, really low on the birch barrel. With that amount of brown sugar, in there, you don't want to do it on a high temperature or it will burn. So then we're going to move these ribs back. I always like rubbing the presentation side first. Kind of liberally do this, um, covering it, kind of working it into the meat. And as soon as we have all this in, we're actually going to let it rest again for an hour. So we're just going to put this in here. Really what we're doing is, I guess you would call it marinating it. Um, it's not really a marinade because it's not wet but you're just giving the rub time to develop flavor. And we're just gonna put this in the fridge for about an hour, and then we will meet you out by the grill. All right, I got those ribs. They've been prepped. They've been sitting on that rub for about an hour. What we're gonna do is raise this now, and we're gonna just put this rack of rib down. So what I like doing is that bone side down first. Then we're gonna lower this rack again, and we're gonna twist it into position and then we're gonna raise it just about that high off the grill. And what you're gonna do is develop all this smokiness. So we're cooking, I would say maybe two, 250 to 275, and we're gonna do that for about six hours. All right, we got our birch barrel outside kitchen going on, and I have been waiting so patiently for these ribs. I can smell them, I'm so excited about them. So what we're gonna do is just lower the rack a little bit here. We're gonna raise that lid, look at those, whoa. And again, this was brown sugar and salt. That's literally all that this recipe is made up of. We're gonna transfer it over to this board. Oh baby, that is so good. There we go. Ribs on the birch barrel. <laughs> 